Hello and welcome to our video on 8 Foods You Should Never Eat Raw. Food is an essential part of our daily lives, providing us with the energy and nutrients we need to stay healthy and active. However, not all foods are safe to consume in their raw state, and some can even be dangerous to eat without proper cooking or preparation. In recent years, there has been an increasing interest in raw food diets, with many claiming that they offer numerous health benefits, including weight loss and improved digestion. While there may be some advantages to incorporating more raw foods into our diets, it's crucial to understand the risks associated with consuming certain foods raw. In this video, we will be discussing 8 foods that you should avoid eating raw. We will explore different types of foods, including meats, seafood, eggs, beans and legumes, potatoes, rhubarb, mushrooms, and spinach. For each type of food, we will explain the potential risks of consuming them raw and highlight the importance of proper preparation and cooking. It's essential to note that proper cooking and preparation not only improve the safety of the food we eat but can also enhance its nutritional value and taste. Cooking can break down the complex molecules in food and make it easier for our bodies to absorb essential vitamins and minerals. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the potential dangers associated with consuming certain foods raw and the importance of proper cooking and preparation. So, let's delve into the world of food safety and explore the 8 foods you should never eat raw. 1. Meat. Meat is a staple food for many people around the world and is an excellent source of protein, vitamins, and minerals. However, eating raw meat can be extremely dangerous and can lead to severe illness or even death. In this section, we will explore the risks associated with consuming raw meat and the importance of cooking it thoroughly. Raw meat can contain harmful bacteria such as E. coli, Salmonella, and Campylobacter. These bacteria can cause food poisoning and other serious health problems. Eating raw or undercooked beef, pork, and poultry is especially risky. These meats can be contaminated with bacteria in the slaughterhouse or during processing, packaging, or storage. Symptoms of food poisoning from consuming raw meat can include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramps, and fever. In severe cases, food poisoning can lead to dehydration, kidney failure, and even death. Pregnant women, young children, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems are especially vulnerable to foodborne illnesses. The only way to kill harmful bacteria in meat is by cooking it to a safe internal temperature. The recommended internal temperature for cooking meat varies depending on the type of meat and cut. For example, beef and pork should be cooked to an internal temperature of at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius, while poultry should be cooked to an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius. It's important to use a meat thermometer to ensure that meat is cooked to a safe internal temperature. Relying on the color or texture of meat to determine doneness is not reliable and can be dangerous. Cutting into meat to check for doneness can also increase the risk of contamination. In addition to cooking meat to a safe internal temperature, it's also important to handle meat properly. Always wash your hands before and after handling raw meat, and use separate cutting boards, utensils, and dishes for raw and cooked meat. This can help prevent cross-contamination and reduce the risk of foodborne illness. 2. Eggs. Eggs are a staple in many diets around the world and are often used in various recipes. However, consuming raw or undercooked eggs can pose a risk to your health, as they may contain harmful bacteria such as Salmonella. Salmonella is a type of bacteria that is commonly found in the intestines of animals, including chickens. When an infected chicken lays an egg, the bacteria can be transferred to the eggshell or inside the egg. Therefore, consuming raw or undercooked eggs can lead to salmonella infection, which can cause symptoms such as diarrhea, fever, abdominal cramps, and vomiting. In severe cases, salmonella infection can lead to hospitalization or even death. The risk of salmonella contamination in eggs has been greatly reduced in recent years due to improvements in egg production and handling practices. However, it is still important to take precautions when handling and cooking eggs to reduce the risk of contamination. Cooking eggs thoroughly can eliminate any harmful bacteria that may be present. 
The USDA recommends cooking eggs until both the yolk and the white are firm, which means that the internal temperature of the egg should reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius. This temperature is high enough to kill any bacteria that may be present, including salmonella. In addition to cooking eggs thoroughly, it is also important to handle them properly to reduce the risk of contamination. This includes washing your hands before and after handling eggs, storing eggs in the refrigerator at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, and avoiding the use of eggs with cracked shells. Some people may choose to consume raw or undercooked eggs for various reasons, such as in the form of raw cookie dough or homemade mayonnaise. However, it is important to note that consuming raw or undercooked eggs can still pose a risk of salmonella infection. To reduce this risk, it is recommended to use pasteurized eggs, which have been heated to a temperature that eliminates any harmful bacteria while still preserving the flavor and texture of the egg. 3. Seafood. Seafood is a popular and nutritious food that is enjoyed by many people around the world. However, consuming raw or undercooked seafood can pose a risk to your health, as it may contain harmful bacteria, viruses, or parasites that can cause foodborne illness. Some examples of seafood that are commonly consumed raw include sushi, sashimi, ceviche, and oysters. These foods can be particularly risky because they are often consumed without any cooking or heat treatment, which can eliminate harmful microorganisms. Raw seafood can contain various types of bacteria, including Vibrio, Salmonella, and Listeria. These bacteria can cause symptoms such as diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and fever. In severe cases, they can even lead to hospitalization or death. In addition to bacteria, raw seafood can also contain harmful parasites such as tapeworms and roundworms. These parasites can cause various health problems, including abdominal pain, diarrhea, and malnutrition. In extreme cases, they can even lead to organ damage or death. To reduce the risk of foodborne illness from seafood, it is important to handle and cook it properly. This includes choosing high-quality seafood, purchase seafood from reputable suppliers who follow proper handling and storage practices, keeping seafood refrigerated, Store seafood in the refrigerator at a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, or below until you are ready to cook or consume it. Cooking seafood to a safe temperature. Cook seafood to an internal temperature of at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius, to kill harmful bacteria and parasites. For shellfish, such as oysters, cook until the shells open. Avoiding cross-contamination. Keep raw seafood separate from cooked foods and use separate cutting boards, utensils, and containers to avoid cross-contamination. Avoiding high-risk seafood. Avoid consuming raw or undercooked high-risk seafood such as oysters, clams, mussels, and scallops, especially if you are pregnant, elderly, or have a weakened immune system. It is also important to be aware of any advisories or warnings related to seafood consumption in your area. Some types of seafood, such as shark, swordfish, and king mackerel, can contain high levels of mercury, which can be harmful to your health, especially for pregnant women and young children. Checking with your local health department or the FDA can help you stay informed about any advisories or warnings related to seafood consumption. If you do choose to consume raw or undercooked seafood, it is important to be aware of the risks and take appropriate precautions. For example, consuming sushi or sashimi from a reputable restaurant that follows proper handling and storage practices can reduce the risk of foodborne illness. 4. Beans and Legumes Beans and legumes are a staple food in many cultures and are known for their high protein and fiber content, making them a great source of nutrients for vegetarians and vegans. However, consuming raw beans and legumes can be dangerous as they contain a toxic compound called lectin. Lectin is a type of protein that can bind to cell membranes and interfere with nutrient absorption. When consumed in high quantities, lectin can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Additionally, lectin can also interfere with the body's insulin production and lead to insulin resistance, which can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The lectin content of beans and legumes can be reduced by soaking and cooking them. Soaking beans and legumes in water for several hours before cooking can help remove some of the lectin content. 
It is important to discard the soaking water and cook the beans and legumes in fresh water to ensure that all the lectin is removed. Cooking beans and legumes thoroughly is essential to eliminate lectin and make them safe for consumption. Boiling beans and legumes for at least 30 minutes can help break down the lectin and make them safe to eat. Slow cooking or pressure cooking beans and legumes can also help reduce lectin content. It is important to note that some types of beans and legumes are more toxic than others. Kidney beans, for example, contain a particularly high amount of lectin and should be soaked and cooked thoroughly to avoid food poisoning. In addition to lectin, beans and legumes can also contain other anti-nutrients such as phytic acid, which can interfere with mineral absorption. Soaking, sprouting, or fermenting beans and legumes can help reduce the phytic acid content and make them more nutritious. 5. Potatoes. Potatoes are a staple food in many parts of the world and are consumed in a variety of ways, from mashed to fried. However, raw potatoes contain a toxic compound called solanine that can cause gastrointestinal problems and even death in extreme cases. In this section, we will explore the dangers of consuming raw potatoes and the importance of cooking them thoroughly to eliminate solanine and make them safe for consumption. Solanine is a toxic compound that is found in many members of the nightshade family, including potatoes, tomatoes, and eggplants. It is a natural defense mechanism that the plants use to protect themselves from insects and animals that might want to eat them. Solanine is concentrated in the potato's leaves, stems, and sprouts, but can also be found in the potato itself, especially in green or sprouted potatoes. Consuming raw potatoes can be dangerous as solanine can cause gastrointestinal problems, such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. In more severe cases, solanine poisoning can cause headaches, stomach cramps, and even death. The risk of solanine poisoning is higher in green or sprouted potatoes as they contain a higher concentration of solanine. Therefore, it is essential to discard any green or sprouted potatoes before cooking or consuming them. Cooking potatoes thoroughly is essential to eliminate solanine and make them safe for consumption. Solanine is heat sensitive, and cooking potatoes to a temperature of at least 170 degrees Fahrenheit, 77 degrees Celsius, for 10 to 15 minutes will destroy the compound. Boiling, baking, or frying potatoes are all effective ways to eliminate solanine. However, microwaving potatoes may not be as effective in eliminating solanine, and it is recommended to use another cooking method to ensure the potatoes are thoroughly cooked. Proper storage of potatoes is also essential to reduce the risk of solanine poisoning. Potatoes should be stored in a cool, dark, and dry place to prevent sprouting and green discoloration. Any potatoes that have sprouted or have a green tint should be discarded. When storing potatoes, it is also important to keep them away from other nightshade family plants, such as tomatoes and eggplants, as they can release ethylene gas, which can accelerate the sprouting process. 6. Rhubarb. Rhubarb is a popular vegetable used in desserts, jams, and pies. It is a hardy perennial that thrives in cold climates and is grown for its tart and juicy stalks. However, raw rhubarb contains a toxic compound called oxalic acid that can cause kidney damage. In this section, we will explore the dangers of consuming raw rhubarb and the importance of cooking it thoroughly to eliminate oxalic acid and make it safe for consumption. Oxalic acid is a naturally occurring compound found in many plants, including rhubarb. It is a crystalline substance that can bind to calcium and other minerals in the body, interfering with their absorption and potentially causing kidney stones. The oxalic acid content of rhubarb varies depending on the variety and growing conditions, but generally, the leaves contain higher concentrations than the stalks. Consuming raw rhubarb can be dangerous due to the presence of oxalic acid. Eating large quantities of raw rhubarb can cause symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Over time, the accumulation of oxalic acid in the body can lead to the formation of kidney stones, which can cause severe pain and discomfort. Therefore, it is essential to cook rhubarb thoroughly to eliminate oxalic acid and make it safe for consumption. Cooking rhubarb thoroughly is essential to eliminate oxalic acid and make it safe for consumption. Oxalic acid is heat sensitive, and cooking rhubarb to a temperature of at least 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius, for 10 to 15 minutes will destroy the compound. 
boiling, baking, or stewing rhubarb are all effective ways to eliminate oxalic acid. However, microwaving rhubarb may not be as effective in eliminating oxalic acid, and it is recommended to use another cooking method to ensure the rhubarb is thoroughly cooked. It is important to note that while the stalks of rhubarb are safe to consume, the leaves are not. Rhubarb leaves contain a much higher concentration of oxalic acid than the stalks and should never be eaten. If you are growing rhubarb in your garden, it is important to remove the leaves and dispose of them properly to avoid accidental ingestion by humans or animals. 7. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are a popular ingredient in many cuisines around the world, and they are often used in salads, soups, stews, and other dishes. While mushrooms can be a delicious and nutritious addition to a meal, it is important to understand that some varieties of mushrooms can be toxic if eaten raw or undercooked. One of the most common toxins found in mushrooms is agaritine, which is found in the genus Agaricus, including the widely consumed white button mushroom. Agaritine is a carcinogenic compound that can cause liver damage and cancer in humans if consumed in high doses over a long period of time. However, the risk of consuming toxic levels of agaritine is relatively low, as it depends on several factors, including the type of mushroom, the amount consumed, and the frequency of consumption. To reduce the risk of consuming toxic levels of agaritine, it is recommended to cook mushrooms thoroughly before eating them. Cooking at high temperatures can help break down the compound, reducing its concentration in the mushrooms. Boiling or microwaving mushrooms for two minutes has been found to be particularly effective in reducing agaritine levels. It is also important to note that some varieties of mushrooms, such as the Amanita species, can be extremely toxic, even when cooked. These mushrooms contain amatoxins, which can cause liver and kidney damage, and in severe cases, can be fatal. It is crucial to be able to accurately identify the mushrooms you are consuming and avoid eating any that you are unsure of. To minimize the risk of consuming toxic mushrooms, it is best to buy mushrooms from reputable sources and avoid foraging for wild mushrooms unless you are an experienced mycologist. Even if you are an experienced mushroom hunter, it is still essential to double-check the identification of any wild mushrooms you have gathered before consuming them. 8. Spinach. Spinach is a leafy green vegetable that is packed with nutrients, including vitamins A and C, iron, and calcium. While spinach is a healthy addition to any diet, it's important to note that eating raw spinach can have some potential risks. This is because raw spinach contains high levels of oxalic acid, which can interfere with calcium absorption and lead to kidney stones. Oxalic acid is a naturally occurring compound found in many plants, including spinach. When you eat raw spinach, the oxalic acid in the vegetable can bind with calcium in your body, forming calcium oxalate crystals. These crystals can then accumulate in your kidneys and urinary tract, causing kidney stones. Kidney stones are small, hard deposits that form in the kidneys and can cause intense pain, nausea, and vomiting. They can range in size from a grain of sand to a golf ball and can take weeks or even months to pass through the urinary tract. While cooking spinach can reduce the levels of oxalic acid, it's important to note that overcooking can also cause a loss of nutrients. The best way to prepare spinach is to lightly saute it or steam it for a few minutes until it's wilted but still bright green. In addition to reducing the levels of oxalic acid, cooking spinach can also increase the availability of other nutrients, such as beta-carotene and lutein. These nutrients are important for maintaining healthy vision and reducing the risk of age-related macular degeneration. If you're concerned about the potential risks of consuming raw spinach, you may want to consider incorporating other leafy greens into your diet. Some good alternatives to spinach include kale, collard greens, and Swiss chard. As we've discussed in this video, there are several foods that you should avoid eating raw to prevent foodborne illnesses and potential health risks. From meats and seafood to beans and legumes, it's important to cook these foods thoroughly to eliminate harmful bacteria and toxins. In particular, raw spinach contains high levels of oxalic acid, which can interfere with calcium absorption and lead to kidney stones. While spinach is a healthy addition to any diet, it's best to cook it lightly to reduce the levels of oxalic acid and optimize nutrient availability. By taking these precautions, you can enjoy the health benefits of a balanced diet without compromising your health. 
Incorporating a variety of cooked vegetables, meats, and seafood can help you maintain a healthy lifestyle and prevent foodborne illnesses. Thank you for watching this video from Healthy Lifestyle Tips. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on how to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.